guys and welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you're into 3d printing photography drones tech laser and whatever interests me start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything i'm sure you've probably noticed this this is the algo laser pixie newborn on the platform like it's like totally brand new it's a crazy entry level for price and great for beginners let's roll the intro and let's talk about it Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I have ongoing with Geeks Outfit. They provided me beautiful hoodies and great t-shirts and bazinga! There you go. Summer is coming, so all the new t-shirts for summer will be down in the description for your reference. It's an affiliate link, so I will get a little part of it. Check the links down in the description again and let's get back to the review. Okay, Algo Laser Pixie here, 10 by 10 centimeters desktop laser. But what's special? What surprised me? What surprised me the most is the iOS system that's inside. It's an operating system by Algo Laser. I think it's called Algo OS or something like that. And basically, it makes you print right out of the, right out of the box without any computer, any app, or anything. It comes with a ton of. Uh, pre-loaded uh, pre, uh, uh, files and examples and uh, you will be able to engrave in within minutes. Unboxing and setup was like nothing to be done, just take it out of the box, put it on the desk. I mean, it's self-explanatory. I mean, there's just uh, electricity plug and uh, some calibration. Uh, you need to focus the laser, laser by using this small hammer and roll uh, the uh, the knob on the top by opening the lid on the top and you're good to go. You choose material from the OS, you navigate through the uh, many models and start engraving right on the spot. And uh, what I loved was that there's a free sketch you can draw with your um, with the pen that was included in the box. You can sketch whatever you like and engrave it. And uh, something that was interesting was noticing that settings for all the materials are already inside. So you just choose the material you want to print, you want to engrave, and the machine knows exactly what's the setting to be, to be uh, used. Of course, most of you will be asking, can you use it with uh, Lightburn or GBRL? Of course you can, it comes with a USB cable, you connect it and it worked as a charm. Just remember something, if you're engraving something that basically blocks the door from closing, it will not start engraving. There's a safety issue, uh, if you use Lightburn, you need to find a way to close the lid. It happened to me like once or twice. I wasn't understanding why it wasn't engraving. And basically the door has to be all the way down. Otherwise it will not start engraving for safety issues. Something else I love is also the application that you can use like uh, some other lasers we've seen in the past. Uh, you can use the application to upload the file. But what I found very interesting was loading an image, my logo, on a USB stick, USB-C stick, and loading it in the back. And I started engraving my logo everywhere. They were so kind that Algo Lazar to send me a package with lots of uh, goodies, I say, so lots of uh, uh, leather strings and uh, wood key rings for me to like use as an example. So let's recap a little. You can operate this laser engraver in three different ways. First, straight out of the box, you can use the OS system, you can load your images from the back and do whatever you want without connecting it to a computer, without the support of any other program, just using the operating system that it comes with. You can connect it to Lightburn, like opening to all the perspective that Lightburn offers or GRBL. You can use it with an external uh, PC, keep it connected. You can even connect it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I had to give it Wi-Fi and uh, that works a lot also for the app. There's an app for Android and iOS where you can basically access the iOS system 
and upload any pictures of, of your taste. Let's get into deep and see some, uh, some engraves that I've done that left me, uh, you know, speechless. Something I would like to show you is this key, what do you call it? Uh, in Italian you call it svuota tasca, it's like the thing where you leave your keys once you ent enter the house. I found this at the dollar store and uh, I decided to put a logo because every time I drive, and I can drive, I come into the studio and I have to drop keys and stuff like that, I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch furniture and stuff like that, but used, like engraved perfectly. I tried to find the center, as center as possible, and as you can see, it left beautiful engraved. And that, that was not even using the entire power of the laser. As I said before, five watt would seem not a lot, but it is. The only limitation of this laser engraver is the area. It's 10 by 10. So not a very huge area. I mean, it will become more if you start using the roller, uh, which is like basically super easy to connect. You just change the mode, the operating mode in the laser uh, iOS and you're good to go. You choose horizontal or vertical and you engrave that too. By the way, I engraved I was nearly forgetting. I engraved this. This is a paper roll, home paper roll, with the roller and definition and uh, engrave is is amazing. I mean, we are accomplishing some results. We're seeing results here of a high end uh, uh, and laser engraver. This is not a result of uh, of an entry level laser engraver for price point and for the people who it's aimed to. I managed also to engrave on, on black acrylic. As you can see the tiger. And I was afraid the laser power would have been too much. I could have done even more because it's like really little, it scraped it a little bit, not as much as I would have wanted. I was afraid it was gonna melt, but overall it handled that amazingly. Same thing goes from the visit card. This is a visit card I printed out for a friend of mine. He's gonna receive this present. I bought this before Elon went crazy. Friend of mine bought a Tesla and I'm gonna stick this to his car tomorrow. I found it funny. I said. Let's print it. Other thing I was impressed was le uh, leather, how it engraves on leather. Here's something I, I engraved for my kids. This is a uh, Kiering, Laura and Marty. They're my kids. And uh, it handled that surprisingly good. I mean, all the presets of the leather and all the different materials I mean, I was, I was impressed because I finished all the material to test this engraving here. I don't know if you can focus. That was kind of perfect, but it was my mistake because wood here was really thick, so power was not enough to cut it through. That didn't happen on this one. This one came out and it was great. Two small key rings, cat and a fish. And they were loaded right from the OS. I mean, they're loaded inside, so they were pre-sliced uh, pre as we use in a 3D printing, uh, 3D printing language. Then of course, I wanted to do something a little bit uh, deeper, some stress test, and I connected to Lightburn, and from Lightburn, it worked as a charm. I printed out this on leather, came out brilliantly. Then I used some other wood support. Let me see if I can focus it here. It's not focusing at here it is. This is a wood keyring. I went deep into it. So I pumped up the power to have a really deep 
engraving effect and the result was was amazing something that we need to take into consideration is the price point of this machine there are three versions three watt five watt and uh, 10 watt i think this is a five watt i uh, was testing but the three watt comes in in at less than 200 dollars which is a entry level price point but you're not getting an entry level laser i mean a five watt is already enough to engrave and cut and to start understanding how laser engravers work something that you will find interesting as a beginner is the ease of use ease of use is was like what probably algo laser fo focused on i've reviewed other lasers from algo laser diy5 links up in the description for your reference a bigger laser a bit more professional bit higher end but the quality construction of algo laser really like left me astonished i mean i was really impressed by the compactness and uh, they even thought about using a roller as you can see here i'm going to show you you can print and you can engrave on this roller that you attach underneath it and the entire structure of the pixie goes up and you use knobs in the back to uh, to adjust the height so everything was thought for a beginner something else i loved was the plate this is to engrave this is to cut tell me wherever you've seen this i mean i've never seen it on an entry level laser engraver before but it's all plus for the person who's gonna start engraving for the beginner who's gonna put his hand on he will think that all lasers are like that but that's not that's not it usually the amount of fails i mean fails here is like this one because probably was not designed for hard cardboard and this one that didn't go through because i selected it was my mistake it was not a laser's mistake but overall the the, the quality the engraving quality and the engraving like cutting is beyond my expectation when algo laser reached out and said you want to try the pixie i thought it would have been another you know akmer uh s10 i think it was called like something small just for beginners that could not cut but the features on this is of a pro i mean don't forget about the uh the filter and the blower with the tube uh in the external i mean that's something that didn't come with for example on the scalp fan scalp fan and filters but this like with the tube that can go down uh, like outside you can connect it to probably um hoses that you already have it's amazing i mean i think this will go up on my desk and will become my go-to uh, laser engraver by the way all the links to buy the algo laser pixie the roller and all the accessories will be down in the description i think i can only add that in my opinion this would make a great beginner's choice to start engraving to start understanding how engraving works and the difference between engraving and cutting and difference between woods hardness and all these like parameters that we learned slowly through thanks to lightburn and thanks to the experience that all you guys are making me do because the fact that you're watching these videos make uh make the producer want to send me the machines to test them in order for me to show them to you so it's a it's an even uh, partnership and i'm loving it that was all for today guys i really hope you enjoyed the video smash the like button if you did like the video subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and i'll see you on the next video